I'm so excited because I made my own reading journal. It's called The Reader's Companion, and I'm going to be making a few more adjustments to it before it's released, but I just want to show it to you because I just got my author's proof in. I ordered two of them, and I am just, I'm really so excited. I think it came out so well. Look at how beautiful it is. It's just so, so pretty. So this is the first page of the inside cover and as you can see this has pretty much a fantasy theme. I'm going to do a few other ones with different themes but this is the first one and it, it has that fantasy vibe. And the next section after that is the bookshelves. Now, I spend a lot of times when I'm trying to do my bullet journals, trying to draw these. And this year, I just said, you know what? I am going to go ahead and just create one that I can order. And then you can have one too. So this reading journal is in color. As you can see, I want it to be very vibrant. And I don't want to feel like, you know... It's just some regular old journal. I wanted it to have the feel of whenever I'm creating my actual bullet journal. So you'll notice that some of these pages, they have like background colors on them. And they have, like this one has dots. But isn't she so pretty? And then here I have the books that I've read section. So I was literally sitting down to do my bullet journal. And I just said, you know what? I'm just going to create this thing. And I'm going to make it the way that I want to use it. Because I'm going to have my own copies. And this is what I want. I want to list out the sections of books that I've read. And there's quite a few pages of these. With the star ratings. The date I started. The day I finished. And I love, love, love flowers. So I put them down at the bottom corner right there. Isn't it so gorgeous? I have the currently read section with beautiful tulips in the back and books I want to read with the author, uh, the title, the pages, and then checking to see if I own it or not. And as you can see, there are flowers in the back again. I told you I absolutely love flowers. Then I have a series tracker here because in my time of being on BookTok and BookTube and Bookstagram, I have definitely come into contact with some um, authors that have book series and I just really need to keep track of them and see where am I at with this so I'm gonna do the series title the author the book title and then the number in the series we've also got the authors I want to read section followed by some coloring pages and I think many of us love to just kind of sit down and doodle sometimes and just kind of color so I added these in and like I said this is extremely bookish and I just love it so I'm going to show you most of it, but I'm not going to show you all of it. It will have a book bingo inside because I am making a few adjustments still um, before I release it, which will be very, very soon. But look at how gorgeous these girls are. And one of my favorite parts of this journal, which my daughter helped me create, is the actual reading log section. So this is where you put your actual book cover with the title, the author, the rating, the date read, your summary. How did you feel about the book and your actual review? So this journal has entries for about 100 books, which is super exciting, especially if you have really high goals for the year. And then if you know, like I know, we definitely need room for bullet journaling and regular journaling too. The Reader's Companion is actually 262 pages right now. I have a few more inserts that I'm going to do. And I just want to make sure that it's really perfect for both me and you. So let me know what you think. I'm so excited. <laughs>